Santa Clara, New York is the host this year to the world's famous Franklin County Food Bowl. Wide-eyed hopefuls and grizzled veterans alike make an almost religious pilgrimage seeking fame and fortune participating in the venerated art of competitive fruit carving. I'm Mary Louise Seymour and this is Truly the News. we've seen how master artisans turn mangoes into Michelangelo's and papayas into Picasso's. They'll make it all look so easy as they win our hearts with their mad ninja fruit voodoo. But this time we want to know, who are they? What's their story? And what is it that makes them turn from the everyday world to the demanding, sometimes dangerous, path of competitive fruit carving? This is Frankie DiVincenzo, a public works construction supervisor from Elmhurst, Queens. Cut myself. He... What do you got, ice water running through your veins? Somebody help Frankie comes to the Fruit Bowl as a fresh new face. This will be his first year at the Fruit Bowl and his first time ever competing in a fruit carving competition. He is probably the most... I hate filters. ...inexperienced contestant this competition has ever seen and... Interesting as well. But what Frankie DiFangenzo lacks in experience, he certainly makes up for with an inspiring combination of passion, persistence, and pizzazz. Frankie DiFangenzo never liked fruit, he says. That is, until he saw The Godfather for the first time. When was the first time that you knew there was something very special about fruit for you? 1989, Mario Puzo's Godfather. You know the scene. Brando wants to make his grandson laugh, so he takes a... he uses an orange. Understand? It's like a mouth and he cuts it. He does the scary monster. Brilliant. I just got goosebumps. I call berries my little friends. It's a very versatile fruit. They're so pretty. You could use this for an eye for like a cat, chicken, maybe even a mole. On your face. These are my favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blame some of the people in this room here today. Not, I do not forgive. Aside, let me say that I swear on the souls of my grandchildren that I will not be the one to break the peace we made here today.